Good morning and welcome. My name is Hugh Bowman and this is my presentation on the Stage 2 Excursion Australian Convicts in Cockatoo Island. Throughout the semester, I'll be using several teaching and learning strategies to best accommodate my students to attend to each of their needs. I'll be using student inquiry based learning as this will allow my students to better their understanding and knowledge of Australian history. I'll also use place based learning, for example, the Stage 2 Excursion. This is a great opportunity for students to see firsthand the exact places where such history took place within Australia and learn from professionals about famous historical areas and sites. As a teacher, I'll be basing my approach on constructivism. This gives the students the chance to draw upon personal experiences when discussing situations and allows them to learn in their own way. As you can see here, the 10 week semester will be deconstructed into pre-learning history followed by place-based learning and post-excursion lessons. These lessons will involve students to create presentations in small groups to allow discussions regarding what they have learned throughout the semester about the history of Australia. They will also draw upon knowledge learned on the excursion to Cockatoo Island. Each week is broken into segments and will have a different key idea or topic. As for students who may not be able to attend the excursion, there will be activities to work and complete at school. So they will all have the same understanding and learning as one another. Cockatoo Island holds key to some of Australia's oldest history. Situated in the middle of Sydney Harbour, Cockatoo Island was once the home to hundreds of Australian convicts. With several school tours available, Cockatoo Island is now one of the most exciting and historical places to both educate students and allow them to think and create what times used to be like hundreds of years ago. As you can hear, see here from a snapshot on the Cockatoo Island website, the excursion links to several syllabus outcomes, making it a great place to use place-based learning when it comes to Australian history. From examining old buildings to identifying primary and secondary sources, the tour of Cockatoo Island has great educational value, meeting tons of course content, key inquiry questions and curriculum outcomes. This excursion is an excellent example of exciting education. The reason we use excursions and place-based learning is to allow students to see different perspectives and sides of education. It allows students to grasp a better understanding of history and historical events in Australia while still learning under the curriculum. It's a great opportunity to use immersive learning. This means the students can take part in a vast range of activities, both provided on the tour and back at school. And excursions are a fun and enjoyable way to get students out of the classroom while still learning about the history of Australia. As you can currently see on the screen, an in-depth permission slip has been created for students to take home to their parents and guardians. The permission slip has key information regarding the excursion. It was also created under the supervision of the principal. Along with a permission slip, a risk assessment was also created considering all possible accidents and injuries that could happen. The risk assessment was adapted using the risk assessment matrix to understand how likely something is to happen and the severity of this. On the excursion, there'll be three teachers and one SLSO uh, to supervise the three classes, which will be 90 students in total. The cost of the $28 has been calculated to include the tour costs and cost of transportation. The time frame of the return of permission slip allows us a week to book the excursion as it will create the activities for those students who cannot attend. Thank you for listening.